Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna rank all of the stocks in the PSE from 279 all the way to number one. Who do you think is the best performing stock for the year? If you want to know more, check this video out. Hi guys, this is Marvin Germo. If you're new to this channel, Please subscribe and smash that bell so you get updated every time I create new content about the stock market. I just hit 70,000 subscribers. The road to 100,000 is very, very close. So I thank you also for those who have been part of this vlog, this channel from the very, very start. I hope that I have given you so much content. And for those who are new, I hope that this channel propels you this 2020 so that you can reach your goals of financial freedom because I really believe this. Uh, investing is not as hard as what most people think it is and I hope my channel will help push you and propel you to make the right decisions with your money. So enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, so before I show you the list, I actually created an Excel file for it as well and I'll try to make a way no comment. I want it if you want to get a download you want to get a piece of the file I'll try to find a way on how I can send it to you guys as well just comment I want it and then I'll try to uh, send it to your email address so I'll try to figure that out but just comment it below and then I'll try to make it work but anyways one of the reasons why I'm doing this video is that there's so much misconceptions about the market people are saying it's a bad market this year but here's the thing what people don't know is this 95 stocks in the PSE are up eh? so what does that mean the name of the game Every time you buy, every time you trade the markets, every time you go into the stock market, it's just proper selection and proper timing. The fact that there are 90 plus stocks that are up, it means that there's 90 plus opportunities for you to make money. And here's the thing about that. That's only you buying at the start of the year and selling it up until the end. But there are still opportunities also in between it. There are stocks that have moved up in the middle of the year then have gone down at the latter part of the year, which you could have traded as well. So these are for people that, hmm, you're just looking at opportunities at the start up until the end and you're not even trading uh, whatever happens in between. So the reason why I'm showing this also is that you can win it. You can make money. You can uh, track the market based on what your style is and you don't have to follow the crowd because if you will check this also some of the stocks that have gone up here we're not hyped eh? we're not as popular we're not talked about and I've been saying this over and over and over and over again the way for you to be able to win the way for you to be able to trade the markets with confidence is you buy the stocks that you want based on your analysis based on it could be technicals, it could be fundamentals, it could be whatever style that fits you. Because I'll say this over and over, there's no one size fit all strategy in the markets. If you believe in that comment, I believe that my style works for me. And that's the thing, you don't have to force what, what works for me might not work for some people. What works for some people also may not work for me as well. But that's okay because if everyone had the same style in the markets, then everyone would be a billionaire. But that's not how the markets work. The market is all about finding your own time. And let me give you this also. There will be some stocks in the list that are down. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean those who bought that are down are 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 not doing a good job. Why? Because your timelines might be different. Meaning, they're actually on purposely buying the stocks that are down for the year because they know 2020, 2021, these stocks will massively make it because they're probably undervalued. They're probably good companies as well. Or they're buying it because they're just after the dividend. So, we're not in a position to judge people based on what they buy, based on what they sell, based on how they trade it. Because at the end of the day, buying and selling is very, 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 very personal. So, if you're ready for a list, Comment, I'm ready, and I'll show it to you. Let's go. By the way, guys, before I go to the meat of the content, here's a tentative list of the cities where I will have stock smarts for 2020. Uh, my narrative will be I'll probably do just one or two cities per month because uh, I want to do other things and pursue other things as well, more uh, different ventures uh, for the year. So uh, this is the list. And as you all know, Taiwan has already been disclosed February 15, 2020. It will be in Taipei. Then for Manila, it will be March 14, 15, 21, 22, and 28. And for Singapore, it will be May 16, 17. The links are down below for those, or, or in the description for those who want to join us as well. 
and comment the city that you want me to go into if it's not yet in the list and i'll try to see something because we still have some available uh, months for the year as well but for those who want to know more of the details of this three cities they're all in the description below as well so here we go guys uh here's a summary of how the move the stocks have moved as well uh, you will see that there's 279 stocks in the PSE and what I wanted to show you is the breakdown I'm breaking them down also so you at least have context on how stocks have uh, moved up or down as well so out of the 279 stocks uh, 22 remained unchanged meaning at the end of the year they were neither up nor down then you have 47 stocks that dropped more than 25 percent for the year massive massive movements down then you have 60 stocks that are lower than 25 percent then you have 55 stocks that are also down but uh they're them being down they're just down less than 10 percent so it's not as massive of a swing as compared to the other stocks as well giving our down our total for stocks that have that are down for 2019 at 162 stocks so as you all know 279 versus 162 there's more stocks that are down for the year as compared to stocks that are up as i said on the top of the video it does not matter because the name of the game is you just have to be selective the name of the game is you just need to know what stocks you're supposed to buy or how you're supposed to time it because we're not buying the entire market we're not buying all 279 stocks but we're just buying a select number of stocks that will help us now for the stocks that are up 95 stocks out of the 279 stocks are up then that being said as well you also have out of the 95 stocks that are up 24 of those stocks are up at least uh 25 percent and, and that's where your focus should be uh my suggestion for you guys is also check the characteristics of those 24 stocks that are up more than 25 percent because for sure they've massively beat the index what triggered them to go up was it hype was it speculation was it news was it earnings what were the particular signals from the technicals that pushed them to go higher did the signals from the technicals come in in 2018 and then it just continued in its movement up for 2019 as well and then you have 71 stocks that are up but less than 25 percent up for the for the duration of 2019 so let's begin i tiered them from the lowest to the highest from negative all the way to positive then will culminate it with the top stock for the year but for those who've been following me uh for for the year also for 2019 you know what the top stock already is because i've already posted it already uh, on several videos we've talked about it in stocks by request also at the start of the year because it's movement up started also at the start of the year so let's go so 279 certec as you all know i've created videos about this it's pretty much battered it's pretty much down because of of the trade war harbor star 64.33 percent manila water 61.13 percent please remember this is quite up already based on uh <laughs> based on please remember manila water dropped to five pesos so this would have been mu much 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 lower as compared to uh where it is right now abg down 60 percent uh which is at 276 cgp 59 percent mahb 57 mrc uh 57.08 food tuna 54 percent surpass uh as you all know to, and i wanted to zero in on surpass no uh the misconception when it comes to stocks is if it's down at one peso down below one peso it's cheap already if you look at surpass it was 1.67 at the start of the year it closed the year at 0 0.77 it just shows you that something that's that looks cheap can still go lower and can still be cheap as well metro alliance 51.94 uh lotto 50 percent petron picor 49.8 dmc 48.6 48.36 so you have 268 and 267 large companies large uh very very present in the whole economy as well dmci by the way also uh, it's down pretty much because of what happened to semerara what happened also to the msci rebalancing and it's also down pretty much because of what happened to manila as well easy calls down 48 percent pxp 44 by the way uh, pxp naman has been losing money so it's pretty much based on the fundamentals as well and please remember also the only reason why it moved up was because of talks that it may explore and have a joint exploration with china uh, for areas where they could get oil uh, in the south china sea as well or in the philippine sea irc uh 44.44 please remember this went up last year because of uh <clears throat> news 
of it developing the subway in Makati. Then you have uh, Axelum down 44% from an IP from uh, its IPO. It's pretty much down. VUL 44.16, ISM 41.99, JAS 41.18, PRMX 41.13, APX 41, SSP 40, TBGI 39.3, Vita 37, Pacifica 35. Uh, ATN 35% down, DFNN 34%, Ross Holdings 34.55, ATNB 31.91%, Philweb still down 31.6%, uh, BCB down 31.5%, now is down 31.22%. Please remember, now also went up last year based on uh, news that it may have a shot to be the third player, uh, third telco player. Shell is down 30%. Now, if you notice it also, oil. Oil stocks, oil companies are down. Petron is down. Shell is also down. I've featured Shell in so many stocks by request videos that Shell is pretty much massively in a downtrend. Ion, down 30%. McKay Holdings, 29.66%. MBC, 295 Another IPO, Frutas, down 29.24%. AB, 29 PLC, 28 RLT, 28 LTG, 27.75%. A conglomerate is massively down. IMI, 26.94, uh, pretty much connected to the trade war. Jollibee from 293 to 216 is down 26. 0.28 percent uh i've created so many videos about that to discuss what what the narrative is for jollibee lr down 25 percent bkr 25 percent ar 25 percent mpi again battered because of my nilat uh but a 3.48 is grossly undervalued down 24.5 percent for the year ala ALHI 24%, Del Monte 23.98, PAX 23.14, STI 23%, MED 22.68 to go, 22.68 also. A win uh, is 20, down 22, Davins down 22%, uh, WPI down 22%, uh, Benguet Corp 22, OM 21, ABS CBN 21.20. But please remember, uh, at 15.8, the downness of ABS even came from the 60 peso level, which which started to go down uh, years back already. That being said, at 15.8, it's uh, still pretty much hampered by uh, what will happen to its license by March 2020. I remit 21, Agrinurture 20.59, Conception 20.53, FJ. FJP 20, LC 20, F FJPB 19, IS 19.38, ORA 19.35, RCB 19.3, IMP 18.63. These are some stocks that I don't even watch as much. Uh, Mark Ventures 17.65, Meralco 17.58, Alco 17.35, IPO 17.33. Uh, Keppel uh, 17.01, Ferro 16.74, LCB 16.53, Mega World. It, it, it dropped primarily because of the news about Pogo. Uh, please remember it was already going up the news about China, Pogo, that entire thing is what pushed, this, push, pushed it down. Pizza Shake is down 16.4%, uh, a consumption company that's pretty much down as well. Are you guys learning? We're at the 200 mark. I hope you guys are getting something from this comment. I'm learning if, you, if this is something that's interesting to you. I hope this is not just numbers to all of you, but I hope this is something that will help you as well. PNB down 16%, MRSGI 156 OPM down 15.38, Bell down 15.32, APO 14.81, FedEx Mining down 14.76, it's now 2.83 pesos per share, IPM 14.63, CEI 14.55, ARA 14.53, Chelsea uh, 14.46, TFHI 14.33, PPC 13.5, MJIC 13.33, uh, DNL 100 number 186 is down 13%. Ayala Corp, whoa, large conglomerate down 13%. It's ranked 185. Layo for Ayala Corp. MG 13. Mm, let's see. MG yung ticker code. Will I buy MG in the future? I don't know. Most likely not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Then PLDT down 12%. LIHC down 12.28. UPM down 11.86. BLFI, BDO leasing 11.37, ELI 11.34, BRN 11.25, VVT uh, 11.06, Everett 10.71, AUB 10.53, House of Investments 10.5, Coal down 10%, Megawide down 9.28, Zeus Holdings down 9%, LPC uh, 
down 8.85 China Bank 8.74 Metro Bank 8.64 we now have a slew of banks naman Swift down 8.59 SCEU 8.4 OV 8.33 do you guys want me to forward comment forward but I'm still gonna run through all of this SGI down 8.27 Green down 7.82 oh Pure Gold large consumption stock down 7.56% GT Capital down 7.55 for the year LFM down 7.44 Boulevard Holdings down by 7 Panasonic 6.86 Phil Racing Club 6.55 PHES down 6.52 BPI 6.49 DWC Discovery World down 6% Land City Land Holdings down 5.99 PAL down 5.76 AT down 5.66 Nihau Mining Company down 5.56 ACR down 5.47 Semerara the one that got hit massively as well is at ranked 146 down uh, 23.5% uh, FFI 4.89 NRCP 4.6 V Vantage 4.42 PH Resorts 4.41 LBC 4.39 Bogo Medellin 4.24 PS Bank 4.17 Sino na nga Sino na nga Naawa sa akin dire diretsyo to Comment below dire diretsyo Anyways Basic Energy 3.92 PSE down 3.85 Decent Copper DIZ Down 3.75 APC Group Down 3.7 GPH 3.44 MHC 3.39 Aboitis Equity Ventures 3.2 Manila Jockey 2.91 GMA 7 2.91 Cyber Bay 2.56 Prim Media 2.4, Avoid is Power 2.29, Power Macro Asia 2.25, Eagle Cement down 2.25, Robertson's Retail Holdings, whoa, a large retail company down 2.14%, Alliance Global uh, down 2.02, IDC 1.98, Seafront 1.78, Sun Life 1.3, ANS 1.23, FEU down 1.11%. So that's the list of the stocks that are down. Next, I'm going to show you the ones that are unchanged. Uni Oil, STN, SRDC, PTT, Port, PMT, PHC, PCP, NX, GE, MGH, GEO, FYNB, FYM, EIBB, EIBA, EG, uh, 117 to 101 are pretty much unchanged. Then you also have DNA, CPV, uh, CP. Ace, AAA, FPI, Home, All Home, All Home, okay, so, lumampas sa pala ako, 96, up until 96 are all unchanged, now let's look at the ones that are up, slightly up, FPI, up 50 cents, Home, hmm, everyone was thinking that All Home would follow Golden Haven for the year, that's why, here's the thing, eh? we never forecast, we never speculate, because no one can know, no one can predict, where the market will go so people said that it would go up on the first day first week first month but as you all know it's closing the year at 0.69 percent east west bank 0.84 cnpf 1.2 rockwell land 1.49 pbc 1.49 emperador consumption stock 1.55 pbb another bank 1.6 boulevard holdings 1.76 uh, Costco 2.09, FDC 2.36, Shang Property 2.56, uh, Cat Tarl Cat 2.82, Semex. Whoa, Semex is up for the year, but still pretty much down as compared to its IPO. It's up 3%. FB San Miguel Food and Beverage 3.66. This one moved massively. 2018 Manila Bulletin 4.05, MFIN Makati Finance 4.3. Premier Horizon 4.62, Lorenzo Shipping 4.94, SDR 5.6. This is the malls of uh, the Villar Group. Phil Invest up 5.63, Double Dragon 5.7, First Abacus 5.88, Euromed 5.96, CHI 6.25, Globe Telecom 6.32, uh, FPH. 6.57 MVC 6.71 SOC 6.76 CDC 6.8 FNI 7.19 KPH 7.47 APL Apollo Global 7.5 Global Estate 8.11 RFM 8.16 Manulife 8.85 uh, CA 9.43 Ayala Land boom massively up not massively up but up 10.17 Ayala Land is ranked 58 for the year. So, can you guess who is in the top 10? Comment them below. Let's see if you can guess it right. 
Finma up 3.74, Phoenix 2.32. So uh, one of the gas stations that are up, MA 0. Point, up 11.27, San Miguel 11.34, VMC 11.59, CSB 12, Perk Petro Energy 12.33. Now we're going into the top 50. So I, I think I positioned it from 50 to 25, then 25 to 11, then the top 10. That's how I think I, I did it. JOH 12.71, LMG 13, Call Financial 13, URC 13.73, SM Prime 13.78, SM Investments 13.93. Please remember, SM. And SM Prime are the ones holding the index up. RCI 14.21, MAB 14.29, REG 14.34, SSI is up 14.88. Please remember, this would have been higher, but it has already retraced. Uh, 7-Eleven for 15.45, Cebu Land Master 16.67, Bloomberry 17.22, KPHB 17.92, T 18.6, Kepwell 19. Please remember this Kepwell, uh, it being up uh, 19.02 is pretty much low already compared to where it was at the start of the year PT, uh, when it did the IPO PTC 19.71, Crown Asia 20%, Max 20.86, Cebu Pacific 21.77, FGen up 21.97. I want to highlight uh, FGen, Cebu, FGen, Cebu Pacific, and Max. These are stocks that were down uh, 2018 but they're the ones that are good right now. So one of the reasons why I'm showing this to you, the ones that are down, could be your target for the ones that could possibly perform better next year. Here, GEI 22.81, ALLHC 23.55, or it was Poppy, SBS 23.96, BDO 24.41. Now we enter the top 25. Comment, I'm excited. If you are excited, comment. I know what those stocks are. Comment those stocks. Sana pasok yung stocks ko dun. Let's see. Number 25, TFC up 24.88. ATI up 26%. Security Bank, boom! One of the first banks that's up in uh, the top 25. Security Bank up 26%. DMW up 28%. ICT up 29%. CPG up 29.41%. RLC up 30%. CPM 32%. Golden Haven still continues to crush it. It's up 34%. Please remember, Golden Haven was one of the better performing ones last year. ABA up 34.37%. Wilcon up 37.8, Vistaland up 42%, PIP up 43.28, JG Summit 46.64. Please remember, JG Summit also was one of the stocks that were underperforming last year, and then they're the ones that are up this year. It's up 46%, Hinebra up 47.29%. Now we're up to the top 10. Feeling you already know some of the stocks that are in it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Number 10. SPC up 49%. I've been hammering this. SPC, amazing dividends. Very, very uh, defensive stock as well. Uh, B Corp, Burjaya, 51%. Nickel Asia, 52%. CIP, 59%. SunTrust, 68.49%. House, 79.1%. Are you guys ready for number 4, 3, 2, and 1? Let's go. Number 4. Ayala Energy, AC Energy, 93.91. Number three, Santa Lucia Land, up 100%. Double your money. Number two, Ace, Ace X, 115%. And lastly, Hull Sib, 134.48%. I hope you guys got a lot from this list. I hope that um, us going through this gave you some sort also of conviction on how to be able to uh, position for next year. Remember some of the stocks that were down massively last year, the ones that are up this year as well. So I hope you guys got something from this. I hope this is something that, that's very, very useful for all of you. I hope this is something that added so much value and content to all of you guys as well because that's all I want. I want you guys to win. I want you guys to be able to come in to 2020 strong. I want you to come into 2020 knowing what you're getting into because at the end of the day, those who follow their plan will always win. So for those who want to know more on how you can order the books via Shopee, it's at the description below. Or for those who want to attend our seminars in different parts of the world, what I've placed below is Manila, Singapore, and Taiwan. Links are down below as well. And for those who want to enroll to our online course, uh, Tagalog course with Jikitan, link is down below. English course with Sean C, link is down below as well. So I guess that's it. This is Marvin Germo wishing you a happy, happy new year. I hope that whatever uh, pains that you had for 2019, I just leave it. 
forget about it you move forward you keep on pushing you keep on hustling because those who hustle will always win those who move forward will always win those who don't care what other people think will always win it's time that you stop caring about what people say about it's time that you stop caring about what other people think because at the end of the day it's what you know inside that's correct and that's true will always win and that's how you win that's why you will you'll see bill gates elon musk the people who are doing great things they don't actually care what, about what other people think and so should you so that's it for now this is marvin germo wishing you urging you that you can win that you can reach for your dreams that investing is not as hard as what most people think it is telling you that you don't have to listen to the noise or the praise that you have to do you so this is so i hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart see you all again soon guys and god bless you all